It's on the couch. All right, we're back with another episode of Sonic Killers. Because we haven't learned our lesson. Yeah. We're not very good at this, are we? We're doing all right. I mean, we're... we're where the hell are we? I don't even remember. We're on, like, uh, World 1 Act 3 or something like that. Right, yeah, we're so, still in, like, casino area. Once again, the menu didn't explain anything other than the fact it's like, Yay, Sonic! 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 With Mario themes. But Sonic! We're not going to explain anything, because it's like Mario. And Sonic! Sonic! Yeah. It's, really it's still good, though. I mean, I think it's going for a less is more approach, possibly. Which, you know, I guess kind of says something about Sonic as a whole. <laughs> I'm trying to say Sonic isn't worth much. Is that, is that what you're trying to well, say? Well, we ended our last episode talking about uh, being a Sonic fan in modern times. Yeah. So let's get back to that one. That is difficult as that hell. Was... <laughs> that was, really... that was the end of it. Wow. Congratulations. We, we paused like two seconds before the end of the before stage? Before the end of the stage. Okay. Way to go us. We did it. I, I feel fantastic. Um, I'm not going to lie. I was a huge fan of the Sonic Adventure games. Yeah? Yeah. I I didn't play the Sonic Adventure game. Really? Well, I mean, I have it on my PS3 now, but like at the time, I just didn't have the right console because originally it came out for the GameCube. Is no, originally right? came out for Dreamcast. Ah, then, then GameCube. the GameCube. Yeah. Right. I I was I played it on the GameCube. Yeah. I had neither because you know I was poor and I am poor and I still am poor, but uh, I I basically swapped out for a PS2. Yeah. Why wise decision. Um, what the hell is that supposed to be? Is that uh, is that a boss? I may, maybe. I don't know what that or is. Or he's just I don't know. He maybe just be chilling. Um, the GameCube was my first um, new console after I want to say the N sixty four and PlayStation one. Mm -hmm. um, I remember I had to give up some console or sell it to my cousins to get. Uh, my next console and I think it was my Super Nintendo I had to sell it for a PlayStation because I really wanted to play Mega Man Legends ah. yeah damn it but yeah I, I got the GameCube uh, for like one of my birthdays and it was I think it was somewhere between like the mid to end of the GameCube's life cycle mm -hmm. so I knew I knew good games were out but I didn't get a whole lot of them and like the ones I wanted the most were like the Sonic games because I love Sonic well, looking back on uh, the GameCube in general, it had a lot of really interesting games. Like, it had Resident Evil 4, it mm -hmm. had uh, the redoing of the uh, Metroid franchise or whatever. Metroid like, Prime. Yeah, in, in a first-person mode, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Speaking about Metroid Prime, Federation Force just came out, like, yesterday? Mm -hmm. um, and between episodes, I've been playing it. And it's it's actually kind of decent. I like it. It's you're obviously not Samus, but it's, yeah. You're, what are you? There's like I saw multiple you're you're like a nameless um, Federation soldier using a mech. That doesn't sound very Metroid. No, it doesn't. But no, it's it plays like a Metroid game, which I'm happy about. See, hey, his plan. It doesn't. Actually, sound, I actually really like the voice. It doesn't sound perfectly like a Sonic. Like it. It sounds like Sonic got older, but it sounds like. What? What's the best way to describe it? Really, it sounds like. It sounds like a, a teenage Sonic. It sounds like the original guy they got for Sonic just sort of dropped out, and they replaced him with like a standee for him. I don't mind. I don't mind this voice actor actually. No, I'm not. I'm not saying he's bad. It just doesn't sound as. And it, like he's he's got a little bit too much bass to his voice, you know. I can kind of see where you're coming from with that. Whoa! Whoa how did I do that? That was cool. <laughs> Someone explain to me how I did that. That was Laser Sonic. I Jesus. Is Sonic the new Kirby? Yep. Like orange is the new black. Also, another game that came out. Um, Kirby, what's it called? Robotech something, I don't know. I played that. Did uh, you? Yeah. I, it's the one where he's got the robot suit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, give me a second. 
Yeah, they what? had a they had a small little demo thing uh, at the uh, Ontario Science Museum, and I was there with my friends Scott and Kathy. Yeah, and uh, we she was there primarily just to play the demo, and I'm like, okay. Oh, cool. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you see the photos on Facebook? Yeah, I was meaning to go, and I just ended up going. I, I was talking with uh, the street crew because what I like to do is I like to network. Yeah. And uh, some of them were with Nintendo, but a lot of them were actually third-party contractors. Yeah, they, they, um, I think they work through Mosaic or somebody. Yeah. One, one of those companies that hires people for specifically those type of events. Um, but yeah, what did you think of that game? Uh, it was fun. For me, the Kirby franchise hasn't really been my, I guess, forte, so to speak. Yeah. I don't think you have enough power. Oh, so it has to be like a full meter. All yeah. right. Okay, well, it's good to know. It's good that we finally figured out the ground rules, despite the fact the game didn't tell us anything. Yeah. Um, I kind of want to pick it up, and I had an opportunity to earlier because there was actually a used copy at EV that I was looking at. But I went with Federation Force instead for now. Um, that was lucky. But uh, I'm the kind of person who would need to get all the amiibos for it. Yeah, you're yeah. one of those people. Because they're adorable. They're all. Curious. Oh yeah, um, um, amiibos are like really really cool. But it's like, for me, I'm one of the select few where it's unless it's something that I absolutely give a damn about, I'm mm. not going to collect them all. Like for example, Super Smash Brothers. The only two amiibos that I have are of Sonic the Hedgehog and Falco, which are my two mains. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't get Mega Man. Mega Man, he's an interesting character, but he's never been, like, a main, as well as the Mega Man that they use. The ones that I'm familiar with are the Legends series yep. and the... Uh, Battle Network. The Battle Network series. And oh, while they Battle Network, we're coming for you. While they do show up in the, the final... Um, the, the final smash of Mega Man. I love that final smash so much. Oh yeah, it shows an ongoing love to the the Mega Man franchise. That Capcom won't show them, god damn it. What is this? Uh oh, it's like a spin spinny thing. There you go. Cool. Um I, I don't know I don't know if I've actually mentioned it on the show before, but you haven't uh, and you should feel ashamed of yourself. I know, right? Um I want to do a Mega Man retrospective kind of show based on the Game Boy Advance Mega Man game. So Battle Network, Zero, um, what else was there? Uh, I want to do Star Force, but I don't currently have recording equipment for it. Um, and Mega Man and Bass, and there was a bunch of other ones that got released. Um, that I really just want to go over because I feel like not a lot of people played those games or appreciated them. For what Me they were. being one of them, and it's not that I just well, no, but the you, franchise, it's just I you I, knew Battle Network though, like oh, you watched I, yeah. the show. I watched, oh yeah, I, yeah. I totally watched the show. Yeah, um, but it's it's for a lot of people who just didn't either because not either not because it wasn't their cup of tea or it's just they didn't have the ability. Mm -hmm. Like in order to for me to, I picked up Battle Network before. Um, no, I can't stop through that. No. I picked up Battle Network before the television show, which was Mega Man Anti Warrior. But yeah. a lot of people, for the most part, it's like either they're not into it or it's just something that they didn't grow up with. That's the funny thing, too, because I feel like Game Boy Advance, even though it sold really well, it wasn't as like everybody had it as the 3DSs. Oh, yeah. You know? It seemed like. If you were into handhelds, then you had one, mm -hmm. but if you had never played a Game Boy in your life or whatever, you were either console or nothing, or, or PC. Mm -hmm. PC still was kind of doing well back then. Do, I think PC games are doing a lot better now. Oh yeah. Because Completely Steam, different atmosphere. But it's, it's a shame that the big publishers don't see it that way. Like, did you see how bad... Uh, Arkham Knight was. Oh yes! Holy Christ! I was I was very happy to have my uh, PS4 copy of that. No, I actually haven't even. Uh, I I beat the first two games. I have no interest to finish Arkham Knight. Really? Or even to start it? It's actually really really good. Um, I I the thing is, 
Arkham City is such a big game, by the end of it, you were exhausted. Yeah. And that's what I, I feel the problem kind of was. And that's why we had, like, a year, and then Arkham Origins, and people are like, oh, this isn't good as, as good as City or Asylum. And on its own, it's it's an okay game. Mm -hmm. Like, I played that all the way through, and I liked it. Um, well, the, the thing is, is that I'm a... I, I am a game reviewer, as yeah. you know, but yeah. the people watching this do not know. And in order to better my craft, I watch a lot of the other game reviewers. I mm -hmm. watch, for example, uh, Red Letter Media. I watch Jimquisition. I watch... Uh, um, I'm drawing a blank on a bunch of the names, and I really shouldn't be drawing a blank on them, because I watch them all the damn time. Yeah, all those good ones you know. Yeah, all the, all the, good, all the good people that do uh, the game reviews, and... When I was watching the reviews for Arkham Knight, I was okay with the big reveal as to who the Arkham Knight was. I'm like, okay, you're trying to make an appeal to as many I, people as I possible. I was disappointed. Um, yeah. Oh, so I, let's not drop the spoilers, but I was disappointed. Was, for me, it was the tank combat. The introduction, because I was sitting there going, too many cooks in the kitchen, and you sort of defeat the whole purpose of what made the other games work like this giant expansive world where you could you know that you that batman himself has to scale the tank combat was a little much i enjoyed it for what it was but i think adding the batmobile itself was huge i loved driving the batmobile around the city just like looking for thugs or looking for the next mission i thought that was great like that felt like batman um but yeah, like, Arkham Knight came out, and I think people were still a little too exhausted from City, even though it had been years. It's another really big Batman game to play through. Yeah. But it does a lot of cool stuff. Um, like, I, I, I don't want to spoil it if people haven't played it, but... I'm gonna try to. Well, the game. I'm gonna try to tiptoe. The game with how has I say it. come out well over a year ago. I know, but like. I would say, like normally, I give I give games a year, in brief, before I'm willing to to talk about spoilers. There's, there's several story heavy twists that happen, that make the experience much more different than you would expect. Oh yeah, especially that one part where Alfred converts to Kwanzaa. A spoiler alert! <laughs> oh God! Now, now we're gonna have to bleep that out. Everybody's gonna know about Alfred's Kwanzaa, to Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa special. Sometimes I, I feel bad because I know absolutely nothing about Kwanzaa, and it's always like the butt of the, the like. The winter holiday jokes. Oh yeah. Like I feel like maybe this game is in reference to something per se. Like maybe there's a cartoon show before Boom, or maybe some sort of no adventure that came before this. I don't think so. Because didn't you say that there was a um, Sonic game that was a lot like Super Mario Galaxy? Oh, Lost World. Lost World is after this. Okay. Yeah. Because the thing is, it, it feels like we're missing something. It feels like that this game, like we had to play something before playing this game. That yeah. This is a continuation of another game. Because that would make some kind of sense as to why we don't know anything. Actually, Lost World, um, I think, takes the... The whole game mechanics of the Wisps mm -hmm. over to that game. Hmm. So, this one they 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 took what was good and put it into the next game. Yeah, but it's like the the fact. Oh, did that you hear that? The oh, yeah, wow, wow. I, I heard that. <laughs> but it's it, the fact that they're totally like nonchalant about alien life. Yeah. Like they've already dealt with Shadow. They don't care. <laughs> Like, pfft, alien life and stuff. What if, what if... Shadow the Hedgehog fought all of them. Who cares? What if this game is just a continuation of Sonic X? Like, just... just It never ended, right? Because they have Maybe. an alien in that show. An alien that uh, falls in love with Tails, actually, surprisingly. Are these robots in Sonic X? Um, I no, feel they're, like not. I, they're not. They're not. I feel like I've seen these guys before, though. 
Probably. Yeah. But I, I know for a fact that I did not see them when I watched Sonic X. Yeah. That, that was another time, too. Yeah. Uh, I, I read a Sonic X the comic, actually. I watched the show. Yeah. It was the only thing that made Fox Box worthwhile. <laughs> Until and Fox that, Box those died. Are, those are some pretty big words, they are. right? Fox Box in on itself was a nightmare. Yeah. Anyways, I think we're going to end this one here and uh, maybe pick this up another time. Maybe. Because we're we're at the we're actually a little bit past our time here. Okay, we'll quickly do a, do a send off. We we hope you enjoyed our our Sonic Colors playthrough and talking about random stuff. That's racist. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you held on to that for three episodes. I held on to that one, and I'm like, cool, let's use it now. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I'm Sonic MTD. Please check me out. Type onto your Google or your search provider Sonic S O N I C capital M capital T capital D all one word, and you will find me. And I'm Medium Mike. I am right here. Y you you got the, the videos. I will. I don't know what to say anymore. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Drive Mushroom so power. Fine, dude. You want to go to Bowser? Oh, I totally do. The King of Evil. Look, he's not even there. Friggin' Bowser the Yellow Onion has migrated over here, so it's yeah. much easier to say, go do this. So it's much easier to just, like, initially, immediately, like, just jumpstart your population.